All right, today I want to show you a demonstration of this uh, link click tracking script that I'm offering for free at my website. You just simply download it, install it on your website, and use it. It's completely free. I'm not even going to ask for an email address, I'm not asking you to sign up for any newsletters or anything like that. But if you wanted to track clicks on links, regardless of where the link's at, on discussion board, Facebook, Twitter, you can even use them on postcards that you snail mail with. Every time that link gets used, you can know, or another way to put it, you can know how many times that link got used on the web, how many times that link got clicked on. You put it in emails, use it on your newsletters. You could track advertising campaigns. Whatever you want to do, anytime you need to know how many times the link was clicked on and where it was clicked on from, uh, you could use this. You could use this script. And I'm going to show you just how simple and free and easy it is to do this. Okay, start with well, you go to my website, skeeterz71.com. You know, that's skeeterz71.com. And at the time of this video, I have uh, just recently posted, so it will be on the front page. But, you know, there's a chance that when you get around to seeing this video, it won't be on the front page anymore. So I made it real simple to find. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link where it's going to be located once it moves off the front page of, of my blog here. You'll notice that SkeeterZ71.com forward slash click it. You can ignore that, but it got highlighted in blue. That just has to do with the shopping cart tracking. So it's SkeeterZ71.com, click it, and you will end up here. Okay? And you just simply, you can read over the information. You can look at the different ideas here and where you can use it at. Website, discussion forums, emails, newsletter, Facebook, Twitter, postcards, you know, wherever. And it's so simple. I'm about to show you how simple it is. You click the link and it downloads the tracking script. Open up your folder where it's downloaded at. Show there we go. And it is a zip file, it's a compressed file. Now if you have Windows 7, and I believe uh, XP also does this, you can just extract it by right clicking on it, extract all. And I'm just choosing the same location. It's gonna give you this. New file, you got three things in here. You got edit.cgi and tk.cgi. And then you got the readme here, which has the information to also install and some ideas here. But anyhow, you want to take edit and tk.cgi and you want to upload them to your website. So you need an FTP client of some sort to do this. Or like if you have cPanel, if, you, if you're familiar with cPanel, you can upload it from inside cPanel. Most... Other types of web hosting panels also have some sort of file manager which you can upload it. Okay, I'm just going to select my website. I'm using Win SCP uh, FTP client. It's a free client. It's open source. Another one that's very popular is called Vis uh, FileZilla. You know, it's FileZilla. You type either one of those words into Google and it's going to pull up uh, most likely SourceForge.net web page where they're located at SourceForge being uh, probably the largest depository of open source software on the internet so both of them are free you can download them from there if you don't have one or if you don't have a file manager in your web hosting control panel okay I'm logging into my website okay and I recommend uh, putting it in your CGI bin folder which You can notice here, CGI bin. That's, I'm recommending putting them there just simply because they're CGI, CGI bin scripts and your CGI bin directories already got the right permissions set on it at 755. But whatever directory you put them in, you should set uh, permissions like that. Uh, 755 for CGI bin. Uh, if you put them into your root directory, they'll be set as, as your root directory will be set okay already. Uh, but anyhow, you can put them in any directory you want. You can make your own directory, make your own folder. Okay, so I'm going to take edit, tk.cgi, and I'm going to upload them. All right, and I'm going to right click. And on this particular one, it's, uh, it shows you the permissions set on the folder. Others might say, uh, instead of properties, it might say permissions. I'm just going to change that number to 755 there. Or you could click all the R's and all the X's and you'll be good oh excuse me on on owner you want to click to, uh, click the W okay and I want to do the same for tk.cgi
Now this is where the problems will come in on setting permissions. If you run into any errors as we get on with this video, if you run into errors, you're not able to access the scripts, go back and check your permissions, make sure it's set right. Okay, so we got both of those set, and I put mine in my CGI.bin, and we're looking for a URL to get to edit CGI, edit.cgi. So I'm going to go ahead, open me up a new tab here. And uh, I'm going to put the full path to my edit.cgi in here. Now again, just to let you know, if you use a different directory, you want to change that. If you use no directory at all and you stick it in your root, leave that part out just before slash dot edit.cgi, okay? So I'm going to push. And here it says make subs. That's make subdirectories. It does it does the, everything for you. So you just click, enter a password. You're going to set it. Now, you're ready to set up your first link. You want to give the link a handle. Okay, this will be what you're going to tag on to the end of your link here. So I'm going to just do test. Okay. And this is, you put notes here, this is strictly for your own information. It's used really so you can remember why you set the link up for it in the first place. So, this is a test link. And I want this link... Let me see. I want this link to go to another one of my websites. I'm going to put it on this website. I want it to go to another one of my websites that is just really nothing but a blank page. It's something, something I used to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to add that. Now we have our test link. Let's go ahead and put this on my, my uh, current website. Then I'm, see, we're going to put it right here. We're going to go... Dashboard. And we're going to add a new post. Okay. Test for the video. My test link. And let's go ahead and give it the link here. And this is the link you're putting straight to there. It's going to be 71.com. Now, I want to point out something. You're not going to edit.cgi anymore because look what happened. Once, once I created this, I'll refresh that. And once I created my first link, it added a data file. Added, added your subdirectory file here. It installed all that for you. We're no longer, the only time we're going to go to edit CGI anymore is to add new links, to check your statistics. All that stuff is located at edit.cgi. But as far as setting up your links, you're going to want to use tk.cgi in your links. And I'll show you how that works. Or slash cgi dash bin for slash tk dot cgi question mark test okay and we're going to add that and I'm going to go ahead and save this draft here and we're going to preview come on let's take forever there we go all right, this is going to take me to a, a web page that should say you have reached the end of the internet. And there it is. And you'll notice, remember I put tmsbusiness.com there? It took me to that website. And that's what I have on that page because I no longer use the domain name, but it hasn't but, uh, expired yet. So I just put you reached the end of the internet there. Okay, so we got that. It shows you how that goes. Now we want to look at, and we'll go ahead and we're back here. We're at cgi.man, uh, edit.cgi. This is where you do all your link management. It will always be that URL. So I'm going to log back in. And you notice, 
I have my link here, test. I want to view the stats. It's real simple. That's the page I clicked on it. It shows, shows that I clicked on it uh, one time. So I hope uh, you have some fun tracking your links now. And I hope this has helped somebody. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you would just pass the word on, let other people know, maybe create a link to my website. A little, say a little something about it. I would appreciate the... Uh, I would appreciate a link back to my website. You don't have to do it, but if you would like to do it, if you don't mind doing it, I would thank you very much. Have a good day.